We have a reporter on the ground in Iraq, Inez San Martin, Rome Bureau Chief at Crux, is traveling with the Pope and joins us now on the phone. And Inez, let's start from the beginning. Here's the Pope when he got on the plane. I am happy to continue to reprendere the viaggi. And this is a viaggi emblematic and a duty verso una terra martoriata. The Holy Father called it an emblematic trip. You were on that flight. What else did he say? Well, to be honest, that is literally everything he told us. He, I think he wanted to make sure that we got the message. This is for him an emblematic trip, and he, he's coming to a land of martyrs. And Pope Francis wanted to make that the center of his trip. Okay, Pope Francis got a warm welcome when he when the plane landed. He was presented with flowers, and a band was playing Beethoven's Ode to Joy. Let's take a look at that. There was singing and dancing, and that was just at the airport. Describe the mood in Iraq. It's it's a lot more joyful than we when than what we were expecting. Um, you know, there are signs and billboards all over uh, Baghdad welcoming Pope Francis to the country. But beyond the you know the that, there was a lot more people in the streets than we thought there was going to be. Just seeing people out there in the streets waiting for the Pope, even though you know they are specifically being told not to. Mm -hmm. Um, so defying the request was very, very beautiful. And yeah, it's everyone is joyful to have the Pope here and it shows. I was going to ask you that during uh, when he was going through Baghdad, people, hundreds were lined up on the streets. I noticed a lot weren't wearing masks in the crowds. The dancers at the airport didn't have masks on. Even the Pope had his off at times. How do you feel about coronavirus precautions? Um, to be honest, I think the, the Pope is sort of thinking, well, you know, I'm the one who's really at risk because of, an, of my age and I've already got the vaccine and I mm -hmm. want to make sure that the people get to see me and get to know that I'm here. It's not some person behind the mask, but actually the successor of Peter. I'm here as Pope Francis and I want to bring these people joy and comfort and it's something they heavily need. Now, leaving the Pope aside, there has been a lot of break in the rules when it comes to the, the wearing, especially the wearing of the masks and the keeping social distances. But that has been the case in Iraq basically since the beginning of the pandemic. Hmm. All right. The Pope's first speech in the country was to government officials and authorities, and he had some strong words for them, saying the name of God can never be used to justify murder and that minorities shouldn't be treated as second class citizens. He mentioned the Yazidis. What is the reaction right now to that message? We're still waiting to see the, the reaction, but I know for a fact this was a, a message that Yazidis specifically were hoping to, to hear during this visit. They sent an open letter to Pope Francis in which they asked for him to intervene on their behalf. We're waiting to see what happens there, but it was definitely a positive way to start the visit, um, at least from the perspective of the minorities. Right, and after that speech, the Pope went to the site of one of the most brutal massacres of Christians in Iraq. Describe the feeling when Pope Francis walked into Our Lady of Salvation Cathedral. That was amazing. It was extremely moving. And just, you know, know knowing that he was going through a cathedral that, that at one point was bathed in the blood of martyrs was definitely something that the Pope um, understood and felt. He was walking in, in some ways holy ground because he himself said that those people were martyrs. So he was by walking in, he was walking in the plot. All right, Inez San Martin, Rome Bureau Chief at Crux. We'll be checking in with you again throughout the trip. Stay safe. Thank you. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.